I just uh, cleaned up the garden um, took out a lot of the uh, weed all the unwanted stuff over here you can see um, this is the spinach it's looking a lot better now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm um, gonna buy some more um, seeds and um, try and grow more spinach when it all full and uh, over here it's looking much better this is uh, all the coriander I've got I thought I had like double the amount and you see look that's all the unwanted stuff so it's looking empty now so I want to go and buy some more seeds and uh, plant some coriander seeds over here um, I aim to do this every two weeks um, it's a nightmare really I've already done it for like two years and it just keeps coming back see all this stuff is unwanted so need to get rid of that I bought these uh, plant pots for a pound each it's a bargain really for the size of them I had to make holes all of them there so what's going to happen is I'm going to repot these because um, they have easily outgrown the pots and I've got some extra multi-purpose compost there and I've got this one grow sure uh, for my blueberry plants and my lemon plants um, and my orange plants as well so I'm going to do that now just on the uh, transplant see the mess that's it That's a tomato plant there. The rest are all chili plants, different types. And what I'm going to do now, um, use some of these compost um, for my lemon plants. You can see the leaves over here. I'm going to cut all the brown leaves and then use some on this orange plant as well and my blueberry plant time to cut some of these um, brown leaves That's it. Yep, so get some of this. Move it around. Hopefully, they will do better now. They have been struggling. Should make the soil more acidic. More acidic. Give some to the blueberry plant. That's it, now get some more.
So this plant is uh, second year, it's in its second year so hopefully it will give fruit this year. Need to broom it all, make it a bit more neat and tidy. Just put it over there. Okay, here you can see I've got two tomato plants there, one over here, and that's a new one I've just planted just now. And then I've got another tomato plant in a sandy surface here. So it's just an experiment over here, it gets partial sunlight in sandy surface and the other ones are um they don't really get direct sunlight and then i've got watermelon here got one strawberry there direct sunlight so i just want to see how it grows in there as well and then this tomato plant over here this one will get direct sunlight so I want to see which one does best in direct sunlight, direct sunlight, sandy surface and then I've got this tomato plant in the pot and that will be in the greenhouse so I want to see which one grows the best in the end and you can see I've trimmed the um, orange plant and lemon plants so that's everything else been repotted and it will go in the greenhouse you can see I had to make some sacrifices so the lemon plants the orange plants they're not gonna go in the greenhouse anymore they are they are quite hardy anyway so they'll be all right and it's you know they, they, they'll take a couple of years for it to grow a lot bigger so they can stay there so um, as you can see it's only been like one and a half months and I'm already running out of space so you can see you can see there this one there Bhut Jolakia Naga, the world's hottest chili. You can see finally I got one to germinate. So that will get plenty of care from me. So once again you can have a look. I will be um replanting some of these amaranth uh, plants over here as well. So hopefully that'll give me more space. Here, that's a tea plant. Should be watermelon. Charleston Grey is getting special care. Charleston Grey watermelon, you can see it's uh, covered and it doesn't get too hot, so the air comes out this way. strawberry plant I'm growing outside and in the greenhouse as well as a test experiment um, this tomato plant um, in the pot another thing to uh, mention is um, when I took the plants out from these um, tin paints the uh, chili plant it was quite a difficult job so um, it's probably more suitable for smaller plants um, these chili plants, um, I'm hoping it can grow up to one metre tall. That's my aim. Um, although I've never seen it one metre tall. I've only seen it like 30 centimetres tall. So I'll be trying to break some record 
me and my family. So, yeah. And these things haven't germinated, so they're just a waste of space. These things here. You can see. My um, greenhouse collapsed because of the heat. You can see over here, 35 degrees Celsius. Well, it's just gone a little bit. 33 now because I opened the um, zip. It was about 35, 36 degrees Celsius. So, because of the heat, you can see, it's collapsed. So I had to um, take most of the stuff out from this side and put it out here. And I'm only keeping some of the stuff in here. It's too hot. see there I only kept the big tins inside the big um, pots time to harvest spinach <coughs> so taken all the spinach leaves now to clean this area and then replant them again got 3,000 seeds Alright, you can see, put the coriander seeds in plenty and now I'm going to do my spinach, 3,000 seeds I've got, so just spread them out. Do them all three thousand. I really like spinach and it's excellent for um, the health, so that's it. I know some people wet the seeds. Um, but I haven't really got time, I'm just wa going to water it and that's it, taking soil from here, just giving it out don't want to cover it too much because it needs the energy to um, come out of the soil and it has a little bit of energy to come out Cover the coriander. I had to take all the plants out from the greenhouse. It's getting too hot in there, over 30 degrees, and the greenhouse um, can't handle the heat, so it was collapsing. So I had to take the plants out and um, leave it in the direct sunlight and um, need to fix the greenhouse and then see if I can put them back in you can see right I've decided um, to move my amaranth plant from this tray to over here you can see I planted like about 50 plants here and there's only like a few that survived one over there one over here it's a red one you can see about four plants and I planted like 50 
and they all died. So what I've decided, because um, what I did last time, I separated them one by one, and they died. So I've taken it out, the whole thing from the tray. I'm just gonna plant it all together in one go, rather than just separating it. Because I planted too many seeds. That's the mistake I did. Um, so next year, um, I'll do like each seed in each pot rather than do like 50 seeds in one pot or you know a big tree so I'll be doing that now so that's the amaranth plants I've uh, transplanted them all um, I haven't moved them because last time I did that I ended up killing the plants even though I was really careful so um, they'll have a lot more space, you know, underground for the roots to move about. So not gonna risk it. Hi everyone, the 23rd of June, 2015. It's another month, and just uh, watered the plants, and I've used this Easy Feed. Um, pour and feed this for tomatoes and every other plants I've got really so just show you the garden strawberry plants are there lemon plant you see some of the leaves have died and new ones have grown since um, I've been watering it properly giving it plenty of sunlight and easy feed the strawberry plants there again strawberry plants one's an orange plant, this one's a lemon plant, this is the flowers, has grown quite a bit since last month, you got pumpkin over there, blueberries growing quite well, this one's a hodu plant, you can see there that one's a pumpkin over there this one's a honeydew melon onions right over there I've got strawberries you can see that this is um, in the ground whereas the others are in the pot um, the pot ones get the most sunlight but then um, it's only on, in a small pot that's another kodu plant it's already growing climbing up again another kodu they're all different types of kodus round ones long ones and you got these amaranth plants here last time i transplanted them about a month ago they all died um, actually this one and that one survived you can see there the red leaves and the two plants survived so what I did I grew them more in a pot and I just uh, transplanted them all rather than separating them so they are surviving that's a tomato plant there this one's a pumpkin tomato plant that's the um, blueberry blackberry actually and uh, what I did I took out all the uh, spinach and I regrew um, I planted what 3,000 spinach seeds you can see all this in light within a week and this is a coriander over here done the same thing some amaranth not doing too well but that's in the shade it's just a test cucumber planted more seeds um, mustard seed has been about four days but not so the mustard seed has been about three four days and if you look closely it has grow it has been growing so within a week it will probably start growing quite fast so that's the uh, tomato plant
my cucumber plant. My tomato plant in a pot. One's a honeydew melon. One's a Charleston grey watermelon. And that's my green chili plant. The green chili plant. That one's a naga plant, Bangladeshi naga. This one's a chili habanero. They do get quite hot these ones. This one's a green chili. And then you got Hungarian wax chili, this one here. This one's a chili a chili pepper jalapeno. And quite a bit. You can see over here and this one is a hot chili pepper apache version you can see loads of flowers over here there's a bumblebee it's trying to do what it's got to do you can see some of them actually have um, got the um, chili underneath you can see it growing Uh, let me see if I can get one. There. You can see the green chili there. It is growing. So that's it.